Bye bye. Oh. Go bye bye, ma chérie. Thank you very much. I love you very, 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 very I love you very, I love very, you very, 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 very. I love, I love you Ghana. very. I love Ghana Mali. people, Malian people, one people, one people, one. C'est la même chose. Thank you. Thank you too. Oui, ça va. Mmh, ça va. Oh, mais c'est très bien, oh, monsieur. Mais c'est très bien, oh, monsieur. <laughs> Guys, come along with me and let's go back to Ghana. I am off to the motherland. Ghana is a west. Home is best. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I'm leaving. I love this country. I love, love, love the people. I love the culture and everything. But home is everything you can never use your left to point at your home so yeah home is home and i'm happy to go back home so Ghanaians, welcome me back home treat me like the malians treat me with so much love okay so you guys see you all in ghana bye bye mali a bientôt wow getting a vehicle where i was standing at dawn isn't easy so it took me about 30 minutes to have gotten this good samaritan to drop me off somewhere that i can easily get a bike or a vehicle to the bus station so he dropped me off safely and freely and this is the second bike that i boarded from atitipu animal park for 1500 francs we are on our way to daudabugu where the ghana bus station is so please kindly go to the comment section and type thank you sir i'm waiting all right thank you for doing that because he literally saved me time the bus would have left me <laughs> i love the mali so much the malian people are the best so you guys i'm at the bus station the bus is already moving so that's my water and this one of the drivers i came to bamako with will be spending more than 48 hours so he helped me get a bag of sachet water advising it was the best option available say tag from mali here to ghana or from ghana to mali they are the best as you can see they are written CTAC transports. This is their little shop, and that place is where you get the tickets. Okay. Did I give you the money? You said no. I said no. Yes. I said no for the bag. You say for the bag. Ah. I said no. It's free. Okay. <laughs> I thought you take it in the bus. No. Okay. Paid him for the ticket, he dropped one of the notes on the floor and picked it up. The man in the orange shirt is one of our drivers. He keeps staring. Goodness. We are going to learn a lot. Yes? Just meet him in that. My people have not found them. Ah. The fair one. All right, so they are in the middle of a discussion with their boss, the man in the native attire. So I just had to leave them. So this is the entrance to the yard. On the walls are the countries they travel to. Amongst them is Togo, Benin, Senegal, etc. So now let's enter the bars. <laughs> Hmm, guys, this is the interior. It seems okay, but it always baffles me why they didn't remove the rubber covers of the seats. It really feels uncomfortable, but that's beside the point right now because no need crying over spilled smoke, right? This is too cold for me. Guys, this is my backpack. I really need to find a place for it so that the next passenger is comfortable because the seats are really, really not spacious. Soon too soon, our journey had begun with almost an empty bus, hence the bus will be stopping multiple times on the road at side security checkpoints to pick other awaiting passengers. You know, it will be a very long journey, you guys. Yo, so much miss the social Yes, guys, I will never forget this public means of transport. It is the most common, the cheapest, the most uncomfortable, and the most annoying when it comes to punctuality. And mind you, if you do not know your destination, they will drop you off somewhere just to figure it out all by yourself. <laughs> it was such an experience. It was great. I also have learned how kind these people are. Most of them who don't even have are always ready to help. 
the last they have, they can give it to you. You can enter from house to house in Mali and just tell them you are hungry. They will give you food to eat. When you are passing by, there is water by every house's entrance. You can fetch water and drink. If someone is selling food, you stretch your arm with your plates. The person can just give you food to eat. And they just know that you need help. They are ready to help you. 99% of them. And I told you they love flowers and trees. All those flowers are there for sale. So when you have your house and you want to plant trees by your house, you just come and buy it. They have different species of flowers and trees that can beautify your environment and also give you shade. Oh my goodness, me I'm going to miss this country. Me I'm going to miss this country. There's another thing I'll never forget. The Malian breakfast. Street food. I'll not forget this means of transportation too. These are all from my own memory and I hope you also like it. I'm recording this for my memories, guys. I'm recording it for my memory. This is their past. Oh my goodness. The last time I took this kind of bus, they overloaded the bus to the extent that the passengers were fighting and then the driver got distracted and we nearly had a collision with a tipper truck. In the process of maneuvering to not have an accident, the conductor of the bus fell and broke the leg. Oh my goodness. And that day I was arrested by the police. Can you imagine? Because when that thing happened, I took out my phone and I was calling my brother on WhatsApp video and they felt like, okay, why are you, why are you making a video? Are you a journalist? And they arrested me. I got arrested, you guys. They seized my phone and my ID card. I was just calm and looking at them. We got to a time, they said, okay, come and unlock your phone and show us the video. They checked the phone, there was no video. And they let me go. So that day, I couldn't leave that shake very early. I left around 8 o'clock and I got to Pomako around 10. Goodness. And that's my bike rider that I told you that he was very kind. He was calling me and asking of him, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm still at Shiku. And he was like, tell the driver you are like us at Tisibuku Daba. I'm there waiting for you. Lo and behold, when I got there, he was there waiting for me. That is how kind Marians can be. They don't know you, but they are ready to give their all for you. And he's a bike rider. That is what he does for his living. But he left his own work and was just standing there and waiting for me. Goodness. These people are super kind. Even if they don't have, they are happy. That is a lesson I have learned from them. Yeah. Chaos in the bus. So like I told you, we actually stopped here for others to join the bus. This is the number one place. And it's an opportunity for vendors to market their goods to us. This is Ghana money. Ghana money. Sepa Mali. You are not lucky. I had coins so. Ah, you are lucky. Thank you. I'm so cold. Man. I'm shaking. I've closed the AC, you can see. I think it's this one. It can't be closed. Oh, jeez. Got the bread. So long. It's not even tasty. It's not tasty, but they use it for sandwich. Anything else can be used as sandwich. Do you get? Only in Mali. Anything can be sandwiched in bread. And you are cool to go. That's soup. She's selling it with bread, though. They call it sauce. You see? You see how it is? You can see. Hopefully you can see. Coco yam, coco yam, coco yam. So those boats are traveling to Ghana. Most of them are Mali. So this place is called Bugoni. Bugoni in Sikaso. This is where we have the border of Mali and Burkina Faso. The border towns in Sikaso to Burkina Faso are Kirikono and Faramana. And we'll be using one of them. I just don't know exactly which one. Beautiful landscapes. Bonjour. This is a security checkpoint in another location for picking awaiting passengers. So one thing you have to know is that all passengers are required to pay additional 25% of their ticket fee to the drivers so they can settle all the security checkpoints along the journey till we get to Ghana. This they did not communicate to me early on 
before the journey and it became a whole lot of issue but thank god we've been able to resolve it if you don't know mali is known for its mango production and sikasso is one of the major mango producing regions hence this beautiful mango plantation <laughs> and ahead is orange the fastest and most expensive telecommunications network in mali here we have some beautiful sahel inspired buildings wow <laughs> This is an aerial view of a native town with beautiful roads in Sikasso. When it comes to roads in Mali, right, they are always like absolutely smooth with little to no potholes. But that is techno right there. Yeah, I've seen a lot of companies in Mali here that are in Ghana as well, especially the banks. I think I've seen something like First Bank, UBA, and Echo Bank. Finally, we are at the border about crossing to Burkina Faso. So we have two security checkpoints here. We have the customs and the immigration, and the drivers are supposed to pay these people on our behalf. Burkina Boda, Mali Burkina Faso Boda, do you die? I just finished stamping my passport and I'm walking towards the gate where I'll sit and wait for the other passengers who are still being checked at the immigration. Where we were going to Mali. This was where we spent the night in the bus. Look at the little girl. She's selling some beverages. That is ice block. She's trying to break it so she can suck it. I would have supported her, but I'm doing this trip on very low budget. Look at the other one too. Very hard working. So these are the other passengers. They are done and we are about leaving. So we just finished stamping our passports at the immigration at Sikasso entering into Burkina Faso in Goloko. So we are just waiting for the drivers. I don't really know what they are up to. Everyone is just waiting desperately for them so that we can go. Look, lots of people. He has ignited the transmission. So they are rushing to enter the car. It's almost 5 o'clock. We left Mali at 7 and now it's 5 and we are entering into Burkina Faso. So entering into Burkina Faso, we'll be passing by lots of villages, vegetations and plantations, especially mango and cashew nuts plantations. So if you don't know, Burkina Faso is also known for its last scale production of mangoes, cashew nuts and other agricultural Produce in 2023, according to GH1, Burkina Faso imported mangoes worth about 166 million Ghana cities into Ghana. All right, guys, so throughout the journey, this is the only place that I can say that the road is quite bad and some parts of Burkina Faso, but from Bamako to the border of Burkina Faso, the road has been super good and we had a very smooth ride. They are fetching firewood. Shoe. Wow, mango, purely mango foam. It's so beautiful. Guys, the security checkpoints from Mali to Ghana, they are more than two dozen. So this is how we are lighting and trekking and all that. Like it's really tiresome, but you have to do it. Right now it's a customs or immigration check. Another stopover to pick the passengers in Burkina Faso. The building right there is called the Town Hall of Orodara known for its administrative and governmental functions. Oruta is a city in the Kenedugu province of the Haut Basin region in Burkina Faso. Orodara is known for the production of mangoes, bananas, and citrus fruits. Bank of Africa. New Road. Mm, they have covered the gutters here. The town of Africa with open gutters. Guys, it's funny. So that's the chief driver running helter skelter towards the policemen to pay them on our behalf. I don't even understand why they are paying them, but you know, Africa for you. Thank God, though. Look at this. <laughs> he has work on the bus. I look at his shirt. We've gotten down a hundred times. I'm even tired. If your bus is not good, change it. Uh, a small market here, like a fruits market. 
getting closer to Ghana. I mean, I'm so happy. Home, sweet home. There is no place like home. Three hours later, I learned this place is called Bobo. So they stop for us to eat and do all the stuff that we want to do before we continue the journey. It's about 9 p.m. and this is how this place looks. Bobo! Bobo is located in the southwestern part of Burkina Faso. It is the second largest city in the country and serves as the capital of the Howard province within the Howard Basins region. Bobo is an important cultural, economic, and transportation hub known for its vibrant music scenes, markets, and historical sites. Some of the historical sites in Bobo include the Grand Mosque, the Old Town, the Howard Provincial Museum, the River of Hippopotamus, and the Cathedral. Burkina Faso itself is divided into 13 regions, and Bobo is found in the Howard Basins region. I'll buy some. 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 i in Burkina Faso. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you all from the Ghana Burkina Faso border in Hamile in the Upper West region. We actually spent the night here. We got here very late yesterday and the border was closed, so we had to spend the night here. Most of us have like a best spread or a normal mat that we could lay on the floor and sleep on it because when the car is parked, the AC is turned off and the car inside becomes really, really hot. So yeah, I had a best spread. I just laid that on the floor and slept on it. It was very uncomfortable, but that was the means that I had. So it's the next day exactly 5 30 a.m and here we are to get our yellow fever cars checked covid cars checked and also to stamp our passports so this office is for checking the yellow fever and the covid card and if you do not have them you need to pay a hundred ghana cities for the yellow fever card to get a new one and for the covid card if you do not want to get the injection you pay 10 ghana cities for you to be given a very small card which you have to keep safe and present it somewhere else for inspection exactly what you're seeing in my hands here you don't have to misplace it because they said it will be inspected on our way to accra yeah so this is where we get a passport stamped that is what we are doing here in this queue and i also had to get my money changed from france to ghana city so i can actually buy something for food yeah so that's what you see me doing here right now and the rate was not something i expected <laughs> Hey! It's finished. <laughs> this is the Hamele border in Upper West Region. Oh my goodness, I'm in Ghana. I'm so happy that I'm in Ghana. Oh my god, I'm back. I'm so happy. Our car is waiting right there. So on my way to getting the food, I saw a lot of people gathered by a vendor. I thought it was like solid food. And when I got closer, it was porridge. And I was like, what? What am I going to take porridge for? I need some real food. So I had to just pass by and go get me some solid staple. I don't want porridge. I'll miss this Mali. Mali, early morning like this is not porridge. Oh. I've never seen porridge in Mali. They'll do something with soup. You are eating and you are happy. Soup oh. and early morning cocoa. Forget them. Sessa. Sessa. No chop chop. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm craving for Ghanaian food, especially Belgium. And here I am, they are selling some food. There's rice and 
there is being cool and I'm like, oh, what rice? I've been eating rice in Mali for God knows how long. So I'm coming to eat back. I actually had to eat this food in haste because the bus was already moving. Mm. Oh my goodness. I miss it too. Few kilometers away from Hamil, Ghana Customs Checkpoint. The airport is at the other side, but I cannot show you. I'm feeling lazy to go out. Guys, look at that. This is called Kuli Kuli. It's made of granites. I went to buy some. So, from Amele, about five hours through the journey, we have stopped here. I don't know what the place is called, but these are the things they are selling. They are selling rice and all those kind of stuff in the shelters you see there. The two shelters for food. Those things there, coolie coolie and bread. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza bread. Cheese. It's just moving along with dance, you guys. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. I hope you can see it. Look at it. Oh my god, God is wonderful. It's 1 o'clock a.m. We just arrived in Kumasi. We spent about 16 hours from Hamele border to Kumasi. Such a stressful journey. But these children will not even blink. Not to talk of sleeping. Are you not feeling sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to sleep. And you are going to Accra. Ah, okay. Most of the passengers alighted in Kumasi and it was left to only five of us. So they had to get us another bus to preserve their fuel. So we left Kumasi at 3 a.m. and got to Accra at 10 a.m. You can imagine. <laughs> Seven hours, you guys. Can you imagine? East or West, home is best. You guys, I'm so excited. I just got back home and trying to clean up my space. Oh my goodness. My space is extremely dusty, like dusty. Look at that. I've already cleaned the fan up there. I finished washing the things that I wore home. And everywhere is dusty. I'm just trying to clean up the space. Do you get? This is my mop. And I'll be done soon. And this place will look like a human being space after I'm done. I started cleaning this place too, but the tap is not flowing. It was extremely dirty as I came. So when the tap starts flowing, then I'll take care of this place too. Okay, thank you all for staying tuned. From Bamako till I got to Ghana. Oh my goodness, you guys are the best. The best that I've ever had in my life okay 